So what does this victory mean for, for you guys, for South Sudan, for the people back there? I mean, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. It's a dream come true. Uh, we, we became an independent country in 2011. You know, everything that's happened in these last couple of years, you know, no one ever imagined or dreamed of being in this position. And now, you know, we're going to have a chance to walk across, you know, the Olympic stage with our with our flag, you know, it's unbelievable. Everything that's happened, you know, it's been it's been a dream come true. And I can't thank my teammates, the fans, everybody that's been supportive of us enough. You know, obviously, this is one of the most, you know, I'm so emotional right now. It's one of the best <laughs> stories, you know, sports stories that's that's came out in a long time. So I'm just I'm just very blessed to be a part of this. Looking back at the journey, looking back at the qualifiers, is there a moment that uh, stands out as one you, you start to think? we might be able to pull it off or it's just amazing the whole way i mean honestly we can't look back obviously i i can't i can't i couldn't sleep after the puerto rico game because i knew that was our game you know we were up 10 going into the fourth quarter up seven with with three minutes left but obviously you know god gave us a different different route to get to it and you know obviously we didn't we didn't get to the second round of, of the world cup and you know obviously Right now, we're just trying to show, you know, the future of South Sudan basketball. You know, it's it's, it's going to be it's going to be very exciting in the future for for people to see. You know, people got to keep their eye out because it's a lot of talent coming out of there. It's often said that sports inspires generations. Can you think of a better story to inspire a generation of people that might dream watching you play and might dream of playing basketball? It's one of against? the best one of the best sports stories to ever ever come out. You know. Um, like I said, people don't people don't understand where we were a couple of years ago. You know, we came from playing zone five, playing outside. You know, we were playing on outdoor courts. You know, what people don't understand is that we don't have a single indoor basketball court in South Sudan. Everything is all outdoors. Um, you know, one rim is is higher than the other. Uh, there's no official 10 foot regulation hoop. You know, so for us to, to to be in this position is a blessing. You know, obviously we have we have the talent, we have players. You know. We have, obviously, Luol Dang, shout out to him because he's envisioned this since he's been in the NBA. You know, obviously, he wasn't able to play for South Sudan. He played with Britain, but, you know, this is, this is unbelievable. I can't believe that we're in this situation. What about this guy? Broke the record for most assists in a single game, 16. First player in the World Cup history to have more than 10 assists per game. What about he brought to, the, to your team, man? I mean, honestly, everyone can see. Carleek's a hell of a player. I mean... If he if he doesn't sign a multi-year contract after this, I don't know, I don't know what what to say. You know, obviously politics plays a part in it, but his game speaks for itself. And you know, he's even a better person. You know, um, his game is phenomenal, but him as a person is even better. A great locker room guy. You know, for him to come and play with us, you know, on such short notice, to him for him to get along with everybody, for him to mold and fit our our uh, our system and what we had, and he knew the plan of what we wanted to do is is phenomenal. So. Thank you. Thank you.